Hey guys, and welcome back to Chicken Cindy's. Today I am going to be installing my new fork. Hey everybody. So this is my beautiful wife, Marley. Uh, she's got a, another baby cooking in the oven, so that's exciting. She'll make her appearance in two months? Yeah. Gosh, it's getting here quick. But we thought it'd be fun if I get her to put on the new air fork for this Walmart build. So I'm gonna primarily be behind the camera and just kind of giving her orders on what to do. So let's see what happens. <laughs> all right, so we have all the tools you're gonna need right here. Okay. Start with getting that brown box open. So that's going to be the new headset. Oh. So if you watch the Jessica headset video, this bottom is not the right size, but I found this FSA set. So this will go into a straight steerer style fork and it opens to one and a half inches on the bottom. So this will allow this actual tape, uh, non-tapered fork, sorry, or headset to be able to take the tapered fork that I bought. So a little hiccup, but nothing too bad. We're going to grease <laughs> just the top of this part. So this part right here, you're gonna put grease around the outside of I touch of that. it with my fingers? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I like put some on here first and then rub it around? Yeah, that's fine. This, okay. Here we go. How much? Oh, not a ton. Like? Yeah, and then just smear it around. Now what you're going to do is take this tool, the big silver one. Okay. Big papa. Pretty much. This is a form of like a press. It's like a bearing press. Okay. So you're gonna unscrew that top part. I'll take that from you. I need to set it down. You're going to put that into the bottom of the head tube. Okay. And you're going to take these two, put it on the top. And now you're gonna take this, start to screw it back on. <laughs> and now what you want to do is make sure it's straight. So here, and then okay. make sure this goes in straight. It'll be flush all the way around. You don't want to make it super tight, but you want to make it just tight enough so it's snug. Okay. Okay. Now I'll take it out. Ooh, got it. <laughs> I dropped a little white thingy. It's okay, I get it. And now we want to put the top one in. So I'll take this from you. Okay. But whenever you're doing a bearing press, you never mm -hmm. want to do them both at the same time. You want to do one and then the other. Got it. It's going on top? Yep. Like this? Yep. Just like that. Exactly. Can I get this down a little bit and I'll straighten it? Oh, you're fine. Holler at me if it's doing not something right. Wait. Lefty Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to start tightening it again. That wouldn't have been good for anybody. Go. And we that? are done with this. Can I have that towel? Oh, That's wipe. all we needed that tool for. Wipe this off. These are all put in. Went ahead and put the crown race on the fork, so that part is done. Now, go ahead and grab the big bearing, because we have to size the fork so we can cut it down. This one? Yep, so go ahead and put that on. And we're just going to do like a dry fitting. I would flip it the other way if I were you. <laughs> and that goes into the bottom. So go ahead and just put that in there. This way or this way? Doesn't matter because right now we're just sizing it. Okay. It'll make more sense in a second. All right. So I'm going to hold this. Okay. I'm going to give you this set of bearings. Okay. Go ahead and put those on top. And it should slide. Oops. It should slide right in. Okay. And go ahead and slide that into that. And push it down. This? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it's kind of like a spacer. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. All right, this goes on top of that. Okay. Okay. Now grab those three spacers. Yep. Throw them on top. Now grab the handlebars. And put this on top. Hang on. Don't tell me. <laughs> I know how to ride a bike. <laughs> Now we have to mark where it is because this is about the height I'd like my fork to be and stuff. Okay. So we're going to go around the top this? of the tube. Yep. With that. Like so just etch, etch into it. it. Yeah. Etch into it. Just like in a spot or all the way? All the way around. I was like afraid to. You're good. 
put pressure on it. So now we can take it all apart now. Okay. <laughs> There you go. So if you want to, go ahead and start removing those handlebars. You're going to hit me in the face with the handlebar. I worry about hitting myself <laughs> in the face. <laughs> so that'll go there. We should be able to just slide this out now. We could probably keep that all there and it'll be all right. Okay. I'll take that top part off. Okay. I will typically use a pipe cutter to cut my actual steer tubes down. Uh, sometimes I'll use a handsaw, but I'm going to give this to you. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this looks scary. All right. And put it on that line. Can I like set this yeah. down? You can put the forks on the pool, on the ground. All right. Ugh. Don't try this at home folks. Okay. So you'll loosen it and then go a little below the line. Okay. So I'll tighten it. Okay. Just to kind of help. Okay. And now what you'll do is go in a circle. It's in the right spot. Yep. You're good. So you'll go, You'll go around with it, and as you go around, you'll tighten it down, and that'll make the blade get closer and closer. Is it gonna wibble? wibble it should be pretty wobble? tight. It should be okay. So twist. Yeah. You can go and just start going in the circle with it. I mean, I'm and just after you real make one, scared. No, you're fine. After you make one revolution, tighten it down now more. Okay. This is wild. <laughs> So essentially you're just slowly etching that blade into that steer or the steer tube more and more and more. Ooh. Whoa. Keep going. This is kind of a satisfying sound. So you're getting to the other end. Okay. I'm gonna tighten it a little more. Oh! <laughs> yeah. That's how you do it, folks. Now a lot of people don't like using that specific because whenever you do that, it does kind of crack off on the inside, but we have a file to fix that. So now we just have to file the edges down to make it smooth. Like that? Yeah. All right, everyone. If it looks a little different, it's because we took a little break. She had a doctor's appointment for her and now we're back at it. The only thing that I did do that I did not record was put the star nut into the steer tube. So that is in there and good to go. But now we can put it together. Woo! We're doing good. Let's do it. We're almost done. All right. So I'm basically a professional now. All right. I greased it up so she didn't have to. My so hero. go ahead and put the bearing. That's definitely not where that goes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's good. <laughs> and I know what I'm doing. I know you do. That's what I'm not telling you. You got this. <laughs> okay. And now put this bad boy on top. There, good job. Now take the biggest spacer and the purple spacer and put that on the bottom. Leave that little black one off to the side. Okay. Okay. Let me grab the handlebars. Right. Go ahead and put that back on. Okay, grab that last spacer now. This one. Yep, put it on top. And it should stick above it just a little bit, which it does. And now we have this fancy fancy Chris King top cap that I've never used. So it goes on the top. I see there's a hole. Yep. So that goes, that's called the star nut. That goes in the star nut. I can't see in it. <laughs> there we go. And you can start Finger tied it. it a little. Oh yeah. That is easier. All right. So now all we have to do is line it up and tighten it. But Marley, you did it! Yay! What'd you think? I'm basically a professional now. <laughs> Call me. I can get your fork on. 